introducing the Yeti Confetti series in honor of Women's History Month. Emma, Chloe, and our female characters showcase what it means to lead, empower, and be authentic. Rainbow is playing in the park when she spots her friend Doogie. <coughs> what could he possibly be doing? Rainbow runs to go find out. Hi, Rainbow. Want to see my special talent? Doogie asks. Rainbow nods excitedly. I can predict the color of fish I catch before they come out of the water. Doggy says cheekily, hiding the yellow fish pond sign behind him. Yellow! Doggy yells, and out comes a yellow fish. Rainbow is very impressed by Doogie. She wonders if she can do it too. Can I try? Rainbow asks. The first time Rainbow casts the fishing rod, nothing comes up. She is frustrated, but she can't give up. She tries a second time. Blue? Rainbow pulls really hard, but all she gets is seaweed. She wanted a fish, not seaweed. Rainbow is so frustrated she wants to give up. Doggy encourages Rainbow to try again. You can do it! I tried a million times before I got the hang of it too. Rainbow sighs. Okay, I'll try again. Green. Out comes a yellow fish. I caught a fish. Rainbow grins happily. It's not green, but it's okay. I had so much fun. Try something new. Even if you fail the first time, you might surprise yourself if you try again. This story is called Ernest Emma's Magical Unicorn Friendship. Ernest Emma sees a shy unicorn at the start of school and wants to be friends with her. Emma heads to school and bumps into a unicorn in the playground. Unicorn nervously touches her horn and runs off. Maybe she's shy because she's new, thought Emma. I hope she's in room four with me too. I love making new friends. The new unicorn is in her class. Yippee! Emma thought. Unicorn is shy. She touches her horn and stares at the floor. When Unicorn sat down alone, Emma sits down next to her. Hi, I'm Emma. She says. Rainbow says the unicorn. Emma comforts her and helps her day by day. Rainbow gains confidence in herself. She's got Emma in her corner. When it's P.E., Emma picks Rainbow as her team partner. Even though Emma didn't say it out loud, Rainbow knows she can be herself, and Emma will stick by her no matter what. One morning, Rainbow shows up at school without her horn. Notice anything different? She says. Emma beams. You're being you, and that's super cool. Is called What Cool Names. See how Rainbow and Carrots find the beauty in their different names in a celebration of diversity. Today, Rainbow and Carrots are playing in the playground. Rainbow likes learning new things and asks, Carrots, what's your favorite food? Carrots proudly says, My favorite food is carrots, just like my name. Rainbow is confused. Huh? Your name is the same as your favorite food? That's weird. That didn't sit well with carrots.、Aww. My name isn't weird. Why would you say that? Rainbow realizes she might have offended carrots. I guess I'm just not used to really different names. Ponies are usually named after colors like pink. Purple and everything in the rainbow. 
I guess I'm not used to rabbit names. I'm sorry. Just because my name is different doesn't mean it's weird. Carrot says. You're right, Rainbow says. I'm really sorry for making you feel bad. Carrot decides to forgive Rainbow. She gives Rainbow a hug. Rainbow says, "Your name isn't weird. It's actually really cool. Could you tell me more about rabbit names? What about lettuce? Is that a name too? And when you're small, did your mommy call you baby carrots? And how about corn? Maybe corn is a cute name." Different does not mean weird. Appreciate the differences in each other and celebrate how beautiful they make us. This story is called "Teamwork Makes the Dream Work." Watch as Curious Chloe comes up with a plan using everyone's different knowledge in order to figure out the mysterious magical pizza in the forest. Hi, Curious Chloe here. We're in an enchanted forest today. Hmm, is that a pizza box? Eek. Hmm, I can't open it. Ooh, Sengle, come here! I need your help. I know. I've charmed enchanted objects before. You just need to sit on an invisible chair. Nothing happens. Sengle calls to Doogie. <laughs> I know. I've charmed an enchanted object before. You just need to run around it three times. <laughs> They ran around it three times. Still, nothing happens. I had a eureka moment. I know. We are a team. What if we all work together? Sunglo sits on an invisible chair. Doogie runs around the box, and I chant. Teamwork makes the dream work. We did it! The enchanted box opens. My adventure team shared in one yummy enchanted pizza together. Hooray! This story is called Ernest Emma's Magic Forest Adventure. Watch as Emma finds the map and leads her friends Sunglow and Doogie to safety with her bravery. Emma and her friends go for an adventure in the magic forest. After walking for a while, they realize they're lost and don't know where to go. Emma stumbles upon a magical map that only she can read. She is very surprised. On the top of the map, it reads, "Whoever picks this up must choose three words, which will be the only words they can speak until they find their way out of the forest." Emma thinks long and hard, and eventually decides on three words: forward, left, right. Forward, left. Left. Right. I mean, forward. I mean, forward. Right. Left. Right. This is tough. Emma forward guides the group through twisting roads and magic trees. Forward, left. Although right. Emma can only say three forward, words, left. and her friends are scared, right. she was determined not forward, to leave anyone left. behind. Right. Soon, the friends reach a clearing in the forest and a path that leads them home. Emma led everyone to safety. Yay! Yay! Emma knew her friends counted on her. She used her bravery and determination to lead the pack. With a little courage, with a little bravery, we'll make it to the light. With a little courage, with a little bravery, we'll make it 